you guys out here protesting for? No comment. Why are you guys out here today? Speak to the organizers. Why can't I? I wanted to ask you. Official statements from the organizers only. In the simplest terms, why are you guys protesting? Why are you guys protesting today? Yeah, I, I, I don't think it would be a good idea if we... Why are you guys protesting? Just to be a part. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be checking out a video titled Asking College Students If They Know Why They Are Protesting. Wow. So, let's check out the video. Go. I'm in New York City right now standing outside of a Palestine protest and today we're going to be asking these students why they are protesting because I've seen videos and I don't know if all these students understand exactly why they are here or if they're just joining the crowd. I want to know if they actually understand why they are protesting and see if they can give me any good answers. What are you guys out here protesting for? No comment. Why are you guys out here today? Speak to the organizers. Why can't I? I wanted to ask you though. Official statements from the organizers only. In the simplest terms, why are you guys protesting? Why are you guys protesting today? Yeah, I, I, I don't think it would be a good idea if we... Why are you guys protesting? Just to be a part of the cause. And what's the cause? Yeah, I, I'm not the right person to talk to either. It's not our job to talk to. We're just here to support. We're not the spokespeople of this event. This is the wrong people to talk to. I'm not asking for the spokesperson. I'm just asking why you guys are protesting. I, I'm not... I, I, this is... Even though we would call the police if we're in trouble, the police are a repressive system. They do not do any good for any community. They are not stopping crime. Police arrive after crime has been committed. We fund the police as if they solve all the community's problems. We should defund the police and put that money towards community resources like mental health, drug addiction rehabilitation, schools, community programs and it would keep people out of committing crimes. The cops, all they do is try to get as many brown and black people into the prison system because incar mass incarceration th these days is really just modern day slavery. So even if I might call the cops if I need help, f the cops, f the police, f the way that system runs. The police do more bad than they do good. But you would call them if you needed help? Yes. So why are you guys protesting today? I don't want to talk to press, I'm sorry. They don't really want to talk. Why are you guys protesting here today? I don't want to do this, sorry. We're asking people why they are protesting here today. Because I want to see empire fall. What empire? From the US to Israel. The empire that's propped up by capitalism. And free Palestine, free Congo, free Sudan, free Haiti, free Hawaii, free Puerto Rico, liberation for all. And why are they giving out masks right now? Why do they, are they trying to cover everyone's faces? And why do you guys have the mask on right now? Um, because, well, the, there's a police state, basically, in, a, in New York. Um, there are CCTV cameras littered all throughout, and if Fordham admin uh, see me at this protest, um, with my face or... My tattoos, which I've been trying to hide, I have very visible tattoos. Um, they have the ability to recognize me and suspend me from the university for speaking out against the, the apartheid state of Israel. Okay. And if they do not divest, will you guys be willing to drop out of this university? Well, that's the issue, is that I, like, I am here for a better education, and if I don't receive this education, in some ways I feel like I'm not doing my duty to the world by bettering that myself and bettering the world through my knowledge about these injustices throughout the world. And what percentage of these students do you believe actually know why they're protesting? Uh, 100%. 100%. Maybe 90 at the lowest. Do you know why you are protesting here today? Yes. And what is that reason? No comment. Why can only the organizers speak about what's going on here? No comment. Why not? No comment. We will not stop. We will not rest. It's closed. Divest. We will not stop. We will not rest. It's closed. Divest. What would you like them to divest from? Hmm? What would you like them to divest from? Fordham has an, uh, they don't release where they're where they're putting any of their money. It's very secretive, and so we want them not only to divest, but more importantly, disclose. Is that the main reason why you guys are here? Because you want the school to divest from Do you have organizations? A uh, I'm just an independent person here. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm supposed to talk to you. 
Who, and who tells you guys you can't speak to other people? It's not like that. Why are you guys protesting here today? Because there is a genocide going on of the Palestinian people, <laughs> and 17,000 people have been killed. Don't talk to me, please. Hey, she she's letting me talk to her. And so why do you why are you protesting today? Again, because like 17,000 people have been killed. So that's that's why. And for the school to divest in funding companies that are providing Israel with weapons and arms. And what companies would you guys like the school to, die, to divest from? That's all, that's all. Do you think the majority of these college students know exactly why they are protesting? The majority of them know nothing. I grew up in Israel. Mm -hmm. I moved here 27 years ago. I've been to explosions, I've been to the shit. I don't believe in any God, I don't believe in any government. I believe in people. None of those people got their info. Okay, this is something that's been going on for years. None of them has anything to do with it, and none of them is going to lose anything where my parents sit under missiles. Not bullets, missiles. So what I think about, I think that's what white kids in America do. We have a country that's so good here, buddy, that we have time to bitch and moan and other shit, and you don't need to sit in the shelter and hope it's not landing on you. Mm -hmm. That's the reality of it. And do you think any of these students would be willing to go to where the problem is actually happening there no. in... 100% now. Basically taking over the school, that, that's like me taking over an apartment. This is a little more, same thing, we had the riots here, and everybody started breaking into stores. That's not a protest anymore. They've been screaming for days, nobody's listening. I haven't seen anything done on any level, you know, not even our government, so. Yeah, do you think there will be any results to these protests? Or? Absolutely not. No one in Israel sees this, they see this two minutes a day. No one got even electricity to see this. If you want to know your shit, know your shit. That's all, like every piece of history, nothing is black and white. In your simplest terms, why are you guys protesting right now? I'm not going, I'm not going to give you like a specific answer. I, can, I have my own reasons, many other people have their own reasons. There, we feel a sense of responsibility. Some of our tuition goes to that. And do you believe these students are standing up for the right cause? Certainly I do believe that these students stand up for the right cause. And the same do I. I stand up for Palestine because I believe that everything that was done to Palestine from the very beginning is wrong. And not only wrong for Palestine, it's wrong for the Jewish people. It is causing, fueling this endless cycle of bloodshed where everyone suffers. And um, what are you guys out here protesting for today? Sorry, who are you with? My name is Nick Shirley. I'm just a YouTuber. You're a what? A YouTuber. Uh, I'm good. What are you guys protesting for? Um, so we're protesting for Fordham to divest from any connection to um, Israel or supporting the genocide that's going on in Palestine right now. And would you guys be willing to walk away from this university if they do not divest? I mean, me personally, I'm already walking away. I'm graduating, so I will be leaving in two weeks. Um, I'm not sure if other students feel the same way, but our main goal with this protest is actually not to leave to physically stay in this place until they divest, which I think is more important than us leaving as students from the university, because I just don't think that us leaving means that we're no longer here to protest. That means we're no longer here to have our voices be heard, so I don't really think that's the most productive. And where are you from? I don't know. I don't want to talk to people. Wait, why, what? Why are you guys here today? We're not We're interested not in speaking with you. What are you guys protesting for? For Palestine. Our college hasn't made a stand yet, and we, as students, are not for it. Okay, and what are you guys not supporting? What are you guys against here? The settlement of Palestine by Israel. Okay. Why do you think a lot of the students here are afraid to talk, or they won't talk to other people that have cameras? Um, I think it's because the school has been threatening that they would suspend students and like make arrests. A but lot of people are getting doxxed. Uh, that means yeah. like people are finding out their personal information and they're uh, threatening their personal life, things like that. That's why people are scared and wearing masks. They're scare us off, but is it gonna work? Enough. Not really, no. How long are you guys willing to stand here for? Until they, I don't know, like until they do something about it, until Tanya Tetlow speaks. Until we reach an agreement. Until yeah. we reach an agreement. What, what's that agreement gonna be? Um, we'll have to do some negotiations, but we want like most of the four tenants that we just discussed over there, and part of that is um, condemning Israel, um, letting the Palestinian student organization have funding and have their club, and um, yeah, the uh, overseas program as well canceled. We want that. Yeah, none of the students want to cause violence. We're just here to get to get to a solution. So yeah. Wow, what an interesting, interesting video. Uh, I think I will check out the title again, which says, 
asking college students if they know why they are protesting. Wow. You can tell from the video we have watched, a lot of the students uh, don't know uh, why they are protesting, or should I say uh, a lot of them are afraid uh, to speak out. Uh, probably, maybe uh, the few when they speak out, uh, they might be held accountable for what they said. So I believe uh, that that can be the reason why most of the students are really afraid to, to speak out. And I think some of the students uh, uh, gave the reason why they are protesting. They want the school to diversify. The school should stop supporting those that are funding uh, Israel to attack uh, Gaza, which uh, to attack Gaza, the Hamas. And I think that's basically uh, uh, one of the reasons why they are protesting to stop the genocide going on, uh, going on in, uh, uh, in Gaza. And I think uh, that that's really, really a great cause. Or uh, others uh, misunderstanding conflict, uh, conflict between uh, Israel and uh, and Gaza, Israel and Palestine. I think uh, uh, started after. I think it started after Hamas uh, violated the ceasefire agreement they had. Uh, it started after Hamas violated the ceasefire ceasefire agreement they had with uh, uh, the, the Israel. And I believe that's reason why from what I've heard, according to uh, the information I got from Google, that uh, I think on October, October 7th or 6th, either 6th or 7th, I'm not really sure, uh, 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 the, the people of Gaza, specifically uh, the Hamas, uh, which uh, is in charge of the governance of, uh, of Gaza, uh, uh, decide to uh, attack Israel and they flew over Israel's fence. Uh, they killed a lot of people, raped the women and kidnapped a lot of people. I think uh, that that's what actually happened in uh, October 7th. And from what I've heard, October 7th uh, uh, is actually a holy day in Israel. October 7th is actually a holy day in Israel. And I think the Hamas group decided to attack Israel on that day that they are celebrating their holy day. And they killed, uh, they killed a lot of people and they, they raped a lot of people. And at the same time, they kidnapped a lot of people. I believe Israel, uh, ever since Israel is also trying to, you know, uh, uh, retaliate. Uh, Israel is also trying to retaliate. That's, I believe that's the reason why Israel are attacking, uh, attacking Gaza, attacking Palestine. You know, a lot of, a lot of lives have been lost because of this conflict, uh, between Israel and, uh, Israel and Palestine, specifically the Hamas group, which have been labeled as a terrorist group. I really feel there's something, uh, the international communities can do about this. If there's a way to resolve, there's a way to resolve this conflict between between Hamas and Israel, because a lot of lives, a lot of lives have been lost, have been lost through this, have been lost because of this conflict. Imagine living in Israel or living in Gaza. You don't know uh, living in Israel, living in Gaza. I believe you you be living in fear because you don't know the next minute a missile will be released. To, 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 to the place you are or living in Gaza, you don't know the next minute a missile will be released. Uh, you know, people die every day in Israel, people die every day in Gaza, all because of this conflict between Israel and Gaza. And I know uh, uh, the blame is always on Israel. I don't really know why the blame is always on Israel because I can remember, I can remember uh, in 2005, if I'm correct, in 2005, Israel, Israel residing in Gaza, Israel residing in Gaza, in order to be able to make, in order to be able to uh, make peace, make peace with Gaza, they decide to, uh, they decide to leave Gaza. Uh, from uh, statistics, about 10,000 Israelis left Gaza, uh, left Gaza, and they uh, and they made an agreement that they are going to sign a peace treaty which they did. So after signing the peace treaty, 
uh, 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 the, uh, uh, after signing the peace treaty, Israel, Israeli living in Gaza, they all left Gaza. And I believe all this Israeli that left Gaza, that left Gaza, they have land in Gaza, they have property in Gaza, but just to make peace, they decide to leave. They decide to leave Gaza, and immediately, immediately, the uh, Israel Israel left the governance of Gaza. The Hamas, which has been labeled as terrorist group, took over the government of Gaza. Ever since then, believe me, there have not been any development in Gaza, and believe me. They even made matter worse. Even the peace agreements that Israel signed with Gaza, they decide to break the agreement, which I believe is totally unfair. It's totally unfair. There's no reason you can use to justify the killing of the killing of your fellow your your your, your fellow brother, your fellow sister. There's no there's no reason you can use in justifying that. So I really I really feel I really feel pain deep inside of me because. A lot, a, a lot of people are are, lo are losing their loved ones, both in Israel and those in, also in Gaza. So I really feel if there's a way the international community can come in, you know, to help, to help, uh, to help, to help resolve this conflict between Israel, between Israel and and Palestine, between Israel and Gaza, specifically the Hamas, which has been labeled as a terrorist group, and I believe. Uh, in this video, we see uh, there's a guy on tattoo, which I believe uh, he said is from Israel. That is not sure uh, the protest that is even going on. That those in Israel are going to see those protests. It's not also sure that even it's not also sure that those in Gaza will get uh, will get uh, will get access to watch this protest going on because of uh, they don't have electricity. And believe me. This I really, I really, I really feel there's a way uh, this conflict between Israel and Gaza can be resolved amicably because a lot of life, a lot of blood have been shed, or because of this conflict. I really feel there's something that can be done. Wow! So keep the comments coming. Don't forget click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.